Well, hello there, gang. It's your boy, Masterful27, and we have got a drop. November's information is now live in the game, and we're going to fire through absolutely everything that's going on and share it with you so you get an early peek into the good stuff in Pokemon Go for the month of November. Well, we are going to have max battles taking place. Yes, we can take on these Dynamax Pokemon. These will include Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Rookie, Scorbunny, and Sobble. They'll be running through from November the 1st right through to December the 3rd. Nothing brand new there. However, there will be a new concept for the month of November. We're going to have Max Mondays. Spot Hour Tuesdays are now going to have a Monday event. Yes, Max Mondays will focus for what it looks like on particular Pokemon. On November the 11th, we'll be getting Dynamax Charmander. On November the 18th, brand new Dynamax Drillbutt will be coming to the game. That's exciting. Brand new Pokemon in the Dynamax rotation. And we'll be getting Dynamax Bulbasaur on November the 25th. Max Mondays will be from 6pm to 7pm local time. Five star raids for the month have also been announced. On November the 4th, running through to the 18th, we're going to have Lugia returning. And it will have the featured attack Aeroblast. And that has 180 power for trainer battles. Chance to increase users attack gyms and raids to 180 power as well. Hey, if you know what that means, you're doing good. Dialga in its origin form will be available from November the 18th to November the 27th, as will Palkia in its origin form as well. Zacian will be available from November the 27th to December the 3rd, and Zamazenta will also be available from November the 27th to December the 3rd. Regilecki and Regidrago will also be available for the same period, time scale, November the 27th, running through to December the 3rd. Raid bosses will change at 10 a.m., on those dates. So some familiar faces returning. And uh, hey, Paco Dialga, probably the highlight in there for most people. There will be Mega Raids also featured. Mega Manetric will be available from November the 4th to November the 11th. Mega Salamance from November the 11th to November the 18th. Mega Beedrill from November the 18th to November the 27th. Mega Ampharos will be running through from November the 18th to the 27th as well. And Mega Altaria will be running from November the 27th to December the 3rd. Again, raid bosses will change at 10am on those dates. Shadow Raids for the month of November will see Shadow Suicune appearing. A revisit there. All of these can be shiny eligible. That's what you can really ask for, isn't it? We have got spotlight hours revealed for November. Yes, the spotlight hours have been revealed. And on November the 5th, we'll get Sunskip with two times transfer candy. The new shiny Smoliv will be gracing us on November the 12th with two times evolution XP. Teddy Ursa will be on November the 19th with two times catch Stardust. That's one of the ones we like the most. Combi will be featured on November the 19th for two times Catch Stardust. And Joltik will be available on November the 26th with two times Catch XP. All of these running 6 to 7 p.m. as usual. Events have been revealed for November. November the 2nd to the 3rd, we're going to have a Go Battle weekend from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. November the 7th to the 12th, we've got the Harvest Festival running from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local times. November the 10th, November's Community Day, 2 till 5 p.m., which we know is Mankey. November the 15th to November the 17th, we've got the Simply Groundbreaking event from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. November the 18th to November the 22nd sees the Into the Wild event, running from 12.01 to 11.59 p.m. November the 23rd to November the 24th sees the Pokemon Go Wild Area Global, which uh, we'll have even more information about that. And we've had the new design of the Pokeball, which is going to be revealed for that event, shared with us leading into it. That'll be from 10 a.m. to 6.15 p.m. And November the 27th to December the 1st, we'll see the Max Out finale from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. More details of some of those events will be released close to the time. But those are the calendar dates for the month and what the events are all called. During raid hours in November, trainers will receive one guaranteed rare candy XL when catching Pokemon from in-person five-star raids. We will have Lugia gracing us on November the 6th and November the 13th. We'll have Nyaleo on November the 19th, Tapu Koko on November the 20th, Dialga Origin Form on November the 21st, followed by Palkia's Origin Form on November the 22nd. Zacian and Zamazenta with Regileki or Regileki and Regidrago will all be out on November the 27th. So four of them on one session there. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time is the time for raid hours. 
A lot of shiny potentials there. Sadly, Reggie Lecky and Reggie Drago are still not going to be shiny eligible. Well, there we go. That is the November information drop there in Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it, and I'll catch you on the next one.